The government's bean counters, they're called the CBO. They say that Obamacare premiums will climb 20% next year if President Trump gets rid of the subsidies for the insurance companies. Betsy McCoy is here, author of Beating Obamacare, former lieutenant governor of New York State. Betsy, welcome to the show, Bo. Thank you. Let this me first correct what the CBO said. They didn't say getting rid of all the subsidies. They're talking about getting rid of one particular subsidy called the cost-sharing subsidy, okay. for which Congress never appropriated the money. So if the president spends that money, $8 billion, which will add about 18% to the cost of Obamacare ex exchange plans this year, $8 billion, if he spends it, he will be violating the Constitution. Okay. A federal court has already ruled okay. that okay. that is the case. Okay, but is it accurate to say that if the president does not put this money into the insurance company's coffers, then, insu then the insurance premiums will go up 20%. For that, that is small accurate? individual market, that is actually accurate. accurate. The CBO report is accurate. It's just not complete. What it doesn't tell you is how much those subsidies cost. $8 billion out of taxpayers' pockets. That is enough, Stuart, to send every high school student okay. in New York to college. Think yeah. about the size of that. Washington people okay. become immune okay. to the size of these numbers. But you've got to talk the politics of this. Wait, 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 wait. Look, if he doesn't put that money into the insurance companies, if he doesn't do that, and these premiums go up another 20%, okay, That's it's right. a small market, they go up another 20%. Guess who gets the blame for collapsing Obamacare? I do not the believe that the Republican the par were. Party should sacrifice the benefit of taxpayers, $8 billion, out of their pockets by throwing bad money after good, trying to prop up a law, Stuart, that doesn't work. You can pour enough money in every year to keep this thing afloat, but it's an abuse of taxpayers' rights. I and agree in addition, entirely. You're, but you're throwing not only politics. I you, am if, ignoring if politics. If you ignore because politics, it's not then the you've most got political thing. risk. Then the Republicans yeah. will lose hands down next year, and I you'll have Obamacare and steroids. You know what? Americans know that this doesn't work, and what they want is a real fix, not just more of their money thrown down a rat hole and throwing down with it our rule of law, our Constitution, one of the things we all agree is so important. You want the president to start spending money without appropriations from Congress? Tell him to go out and buy some golf courses. No, I want to fix for Obamacare, <laughs> yes. which in the short term works and in the longer term gets rid of the taxes and the subsidies and the Medicaid expansion. Yes. That's what I want. But the short term fix, fix should be legal, and this one isn't. Okay, moving quickly along here, Senator Bernie Sanders, he says when he gets back to D.C., he's going to unveil his uh, single payer plan, which is Medicare for that All. That is a death knell for baby boomers, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> Don't hold back. <laughs> once, you have, once you have a system, single payer, where everybody is on the government system, mm -hmm. older people, baby boomers, go to the back of the line. It's already happening in the British National Health Service. Baby boomers are told, well, I'm sorry, if we give you a hip or knee replacement, you don't have as many years to enjoy it as somebody in their 50s, so you're not as entitled to it. Already, right now, the British National Health Service is telling people who need angioplasty, take a wait-and-see approach instead. That's also a death sentence. They're telling people who have symptoms of colon cancer they must wait 13 weeks for a colonoscopy. And they're telling hip and knee replacement patients, I'm sorry, you can't have it because too many people in your city have already gotten that procedure. Okay. Why do I feel completely overwhelmed this morning, <laughs> Betsy McCoy? Why, why is that? Those are the facts. Yeah. And I, I would urge to Americans table. to take a look at those facts before they go for something that sounds so wonderful, mm. Medicare for all. It's really Medicare for everybody unless you're old. Okay, Betsy, wow, I'm going to hold back here. That's great. Thank you, Betsy McCoy. We appreciate you being with us.